Excellent. Eleanor's the one that got us started. It was taking her to fencing that got me interested. Um, but then I think the main thing for me is it's such a combination of athleticism and sort of intellectual. Um, I tell people it's like it's like speed chess. chess. Yeah, speed, speed chess. chess with with bodily <laughs> danger. Yeah. You know, speed chess in fear of your life. Yeah. Why are fencers so passionate about fencing? Why are they so passionate about this? I think it's the other way around. I think actually the people that get into fencing happen to be passionate. I, I think sometimes people who are not passionate just don't turn on to the sport, and for some reason it attracts people that have an intensity about them that doesn't come out in some other areas of life. So it might be the other way around. It's not so much that fencers are passionate, I think passionate people fence. Fencing is a sport that unites the mind and body so that it can lead to uh, a calmness uh, in your daily life. You express yourself both physically and mentally at the same exact time. Um, so that's, uh, it's very rewarding that way. It's uh, a lifetime sport. I've had students from five to 83 and all of them uh, fence to their, have fun and fence to their, their best ability and it is also a sport that has been contested for centuries going all the way back to evidence in Egyptian tombs that people were involved in a sport of fencing. So it's part of the human history, both uh, personal, your own history, and the history of the human race. <laughs> oh, some of them I wouldn't tell. <laughs> so. God, there's so many. I mean, the, probably the best stories, honestly, are the ones where you're not fencing yourself, but when you're you're coaching and you're you're with some of our younger fencers and you're seeing them achieve certain things. It, it's it's almost more fulfilling. I'm 53, so I'm not going to the Olympics, but I know that some of our kids just may. So I've been to a couple of events, Pacific Coast Championships, National Championships, where you see some of your students actually achieve something that they didn't think they could achieve. Uh, there's, we have one fencer, his name is uh, Angelo Clute, and I remember he qualified for four um, National Championship divisions uh, two years ago. He didn't probably think he could do that, and to some degree we were a little surprised that he did so well, but to be on the strip coaching him and watching him do that, that was just amazing. He was in the zone, and he was one of our products, kids, protégés, whatever. And I think that probably was my favorite moment, seeing him knock off a couple of national champions. Yeah, must, you guys must be very proud of some of Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like the teachers here are really proud of the students here. Uh, especially me, I'm very proud of the students, and um, I'm just happy to see you know the smiles in their faces when when they start winning uh, bouts. Uh, just happy just to see their confidence grow. You know what more can I ask for as a teacher? So. I wanted to get you to talk a little bit about your experience as a teacher and teaching the students here. And what is that experience like? Uh, it's probably the single greatest thing in my life is, uh, is being able to pass this on and teach people and uh, just showing people how to do something that actually could affect the way their life goes. I mean, personally, I think you can be anything you want. And fencing is just one of those things that helps reinforce that whole idea and show you how to do it. You must be uh, proud of some of the students here. 
<laughs> We've got a great group. Like to be in, in a competition? What is it like to be in a tournament? What is that like to, you know? Did you feel pressure? Did you, were you aware oh, of it? Oh, it's tons of pressure, but mostly it's adrenaline, to be perfectly honest. I mean, you can do all the exercise, warm ups, and practices you want, but when you get up on the strip and you're face to face with someone, your body takes over. You know? <laughs> it's all adrenaline from that point on. And I guess my favorite story was first time I got a gold medal, uh, it's, it's something I haven't been able to recreate in uh, any part of my life, really. Just, like, the, the sheer rush of... I'm gonna have to use the word adrenaline again, because when I got that medal, like, as soon as I got the touch, I didn't even mean to do it, but out of me just came this full-throated roar. <laughs> and it kind of actually took me by surprise. But it was, it was a hard fought match and that was definitely the way to end it. I want to ask you uh, about you. What is your story? Do you have well, a story connected um, with this book? Yeah, I guess fencing is really one of the only sports I find easy because I have a condition on my leg. You have a condition on your leg? Yeah. Like, it's called cerebral palsy, and it just makes it harder for me to do other sports, and this one actually isn't that hard, so I really like it. I learned that I can actually move pretty fast in a way. But my legs move really faster than I expected them to. What is it that all great fencers have in common? Yeah, it, they kind of have like a drive to push through any difficulties, and we're, I guess we're all kind of connected in a way. Can you um, tell me more about that? I guess we're all connected, so when we start the bout until we end it, we become friends in a way. What are three things that I should know about fencing? Um, you should know it's really fun. Um, it can build your muscles and it's just kind of, your intelligence grows. It kind of helps you analyze stuff in the real world, I guess. You just analyze more, you pick up more information. And is it fun? Yeah, it's really fun. It's really fun. That's the main thing. Yeah. Is fencing like a meditation? I guess it is kind of like a meditation. Okay. And how so? Because when I fence, everything just kind of goes out of my head. It's, I just work on, I just work on the belt in front of me. It's most. I just mostly focus on what's ahead of me and nothing else really. It's like when I put my mask on, the world is a perfect place. Everything, everything, everything around me, everything that bothers me, everything that I have a problem with. As soon as I put my mask on, it's like a huge sigh of relief. <laughs> It really is. Would you say fencing is like a meditation? In a way, yeah. In a way. And what is that experience like? It's like you're floating on water. Almost. Like floating on water? Yeah. That's good. It's smooth, it's, it's direct, and it's really flowing. And it's fun. Super fun. For all the ages uh, in uh, our club, uh, we have kids from seven years old to people that are 75. So it's, you can fend to all terms. You can go fast, slow, but you, what's the most important thing that we have fun fencing with passion, yes.